other job I have actually talks about Amazon all the time. Yeah, But basically about them soaking up all the jobs. Oh, yeah. And, and, and how that's not necessarily a good thing. No. With automation and you all gotta, that kind you of stuff. You gotta be able to handle the way things you pick up. Well, no, it's not just that. It's just the robots and stuff are going to start taking over the jobs. Oh. You know? Yeah, that's, that's I mean, it's, it's, it's coming, you know that, right? It's, it's been, yeah, it's it's been a, a falling industry, which uh, which uh, what, what's called the, the freight industry. It's been uh, declining lately when it comes to laying off. But, uh, my uh, I used to work for a company called New England Motor Freight. It's a big company on the East Coast for the past hundred years. It was run by uh, Paul McCartney. reason why we're going to need the freedom dividend. Yeah. Have you heard about that? What's that? Freedom dividend? No. Uh, one of the guys who's running for president, his name is Andrew Yang. Yeah. Uh, he feels that every citizen in the United States who's over the age of 18 years old, who's not currently incarcerated, uh -huh. should receive $1,000 a month from the government. Oh, wow. And the government's basically, he feels that the government should go after it to get the money from the big tech corp corporations, Amazon, Google, Facebook. Yeah these trillion billion dollar companies well, that that aren't paying anything in taxes because yeah. they got a lawyer of you know an army of lawyers oh, that basically yeah. work it out and he basically wants to put on what's called a value added tax yeah. uh, which is they have it basically in all the rest of the world except for the united states oh, wow. and he, he, he suggested we put it at half of the european rate you know so they don't say well, well screw you i'll just go move to europe yeah. where it's still you know half of what they pay there here and that'll basically That'll fund it, plus if, um, if you're already receiving food stamps and all that kind of stuff, you, you don't get both. Uh, you know, but what would somebody rather have? A thousand dollars cash? You can do anything you want with or food stamps that you have to report, and you have to, you know, yeah. your job changes, you gotta let them know. Yeah, it's all it depends on where you, where you live, where this stuff, you know, you can take the money and go anywhere in the country. I think anywhere in the world, you know, it's just a, it's still a resident. Yeah, it sounds like a good plan, it's just... This is him. I can kind of work with his campaign. Oh, yeah. I do. Uh, yeah, I do like social media stuff. Are you on social media at all? Yeah. Facebook, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, would you mind if I if I put you on it? What's that? Would you mind if I put you on social media? Yeah. Because I, I actually do have a camera here because I have it for security. Yeah. But um, if people are cool with it. Um, I like to post just basically introducing them to Andrew Yang. Yeah. You know that hey, this guy's out here. This is you know you know an option. I'm not telling you what to do, just just Google it, look up yourself. It's gonna um, be the early vote, or not early voting, but the um, primaries, you know, to figure out who's gonna run. Uh, that'll be just in a couple months. And, you know, if he gets enough votes, you know, he can be on there, um, you know, go against Trump. If he, if he wins against Trump, then. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on uh, the Trump side of the board. Well, Trump says that. I'll admit that was. I actually voted for Trump. To be honest, but, and, uh, but after I, a while, it's just sort of like, really? I mean, the, how many catastrophic events happen to where you're just, you know, not really caring or not, not caring as much, and, and half of the time you're on a vacation and whatnot? They might not all be true, but I'm sure yeah. some of them are. That's, you know? that, that's the thing that uh, a lot of people see, you know, a lot, a lot of the news is, you know, just for, uh, just to uh, have a story to talk about it. Out there, they, they 
you don't have to listen to what people say. Just go out and read for yourself. That's all I encourage people to do. I mean, it's also, I don't think it's fair for people to go out and work 40, 50 hours a week, yeah. and then, you know, at, at the end, their bills are paid and all this kind of stuff, and Still yay, fun. I've got $23 now for yeah. the week or whatever. Trust like. me, I, I went from uh, making $19 an hour to now, you know, I, I just came off of unemployment, and now I'm just kind of going through a rebuild mode. It's tough sometimes. I mean, in a way, right there, wouldn't this be a perfect time where yeah. if you had an extra thousand a month, that you could be like... That's that's where you got the rebound big hand yeah. in, and a little bit of, you know, a little helping hand out there, so we uh, have your back, you know, when you fall on tough times, and that's, that's definitely something that's going to keep a lot of people in the world. I think it will. I mean, freaking, uh, that's, that's where people got to start caring, and it's not, you know, the younger generation, they're like, oh... It's whatever, I don't care if you're president. Because in, in the end, you're, you're gonna, especially when you got somebody as nasty as Trump in office, who people are trying to get him out of office, and one nasty thing that he could do is just put the country into shutdown and, and do what he gotta do to, to pretty much prolong the process. And, I mean, that's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna get you ugly before it gets. Either way, we got another year to go. Yeah, yeah. And they're saying even with a, uh, even if um, you, you impeach your president, usually it's still not a hundred percent. Oh, all right, he's out of office. Things are gonna get better now. It's, it's, well, it's having to get to the majority through the Senate. That I mean, same thing with Clinton. Yeah. You know, he got impeached, but it didn't go all the way through because you're really you're not gonna get that unless you do something really grossly just like more than he did yeah. not maybe talking to somebody and, and referring that he should do what he says I'm not about like really bad that's about what it'll take but the, the only thing that I I kind of thought that was nasty of Trump was how he withheld I mean I'm not so so sure on how much of it is fact but how he supposedly withheld um, aid to Ukraine and whatnot over the Joe Biden's son. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, it's, it's a edgy situation because, you know, he's, he's um, what was it? I forgot who was, who was for, I think it was his lawyer that was with, withholding from, um, what did you do, Yeah, he didn't want to pretty much um, bring all the facts to the table and, uh, yeah, just uh, a little sketchy on that phone call that he had with the Ukraine. I, I, I just, to be honest, didn't think it would ever be this much drama in the president. No, I didn't either. I, I thought it'd be interesting and different when I voted for him. Yeah. But, I mean, no, I didn't I mean, think it would be this. Yeah. But, but I, I will say, I think if Hillary would have gotten president, oh. I, I, I think we would have ended up in war with North Korea. Yeah. And I think North Korea saw, took one look at Trump and said, no, wait a second, he's a little crazy. He yeah, might actually so nuke us. <laughs> Yeah, we don't, kind of like how Reagan was, you know, like, oh, this is somebody we might not want him that's, to, that's, to be honest, where I kind of, I mean, the pros and cons of Donald Trump, I, there's a lot of cons, but the, the few pros that you always want is a president that's not going to take somebody else's bullshit. Right. You know, somebody that's not going to sit around and be like, all right, you're going to push my buttons, that's fine. You're going like, to push my buttons, I'm going to push yours back. Yeah. I mean, it was like, I mean, I don't want to speak bad of him, but like Obama, you know, he's the line in the sand. You yeah. cross this, we're gonna act. Okay, you crossed it, but next time you cross it, we're gonna act. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like that's not right, uh, you know. You can't give them that, that that second opportunity. Pretty it's, much. I mean, look at now, freaking so much drama just because we're gonna uh, either think to get done or, or you kind of give them that little bit of a second chance.
good to see and it actually shows you that, you know, the whole world can be a dangerous place that, you know, people really do come to the States for a better change and all that. Yeah. I mean, I'm all, I'm all poor immigrants coming here. My dad was an immigrant. Yeah. You know, he married my mom. I thought we were going to stay. But I do think people should do it legally. jump across or whatever and be able to get it. Like yeah. my dad, he went through the whole thing, the yeah, green card and all that. And yeah. that you want, yeah, yeah. And all the way up where he ended up getting a secret clearance from doing the military, working on government projects. So, oh, that's good. Yeah, he worked on the B-1 bomber, the Patriot missile, wow. um, and some other stuff. Yeah, I've had my uh, thoughts of joining the military for quite some time, and I was told that I think the last year to joining, I think it's 35, I'm not sure, they keep going back and forth in the age. But, um, so it says I'm to turn it into right yep, here? Yep, yeah. so it's, it's not quite sure. All right, sir, well, I enjoyed the conversation. Absolutely, I appreciate it. If you are on social media, if you remember my name, which yeah. is Burke, yep. uh, if you do Burke or Yang, mm -hmm. which is his, his last name, Andrew Yang, yep. Um, all kinds of stuff on Google and social media you can look at. Absolutely, I appreciate right, it. Thank yeah. you so much. Have a good one. Have a good night. Thank you. You too.